You have a product or service to sell but you don't know how to make a good promo video, right? Don't worry, I'm here to show you exactly how to make a good promo video and here's how you can do that. Just in case if you want to support me, you can buy this template just for $2. I would really appreciate that. Alright, before starting the tutorial, these are the list of assets that you'll be needing to create this video. Number one is the photos or videos that you want to use. Number two is a video overlay that I've created. You can download it for free. And number three and the last one is a text animation presets, which also you can download it for free. Links are all in the description down below. All right, let's get started. Open up After Effects and import the assets and the video overlay that you've just downloaded inside After Effects by double clicking on the project panel and import the folder. Create a new composition and rename it slide one. Drag and drop your video or your photo inside the composition. Scale it to fit the composition. Right click and pre-compose. And hit S to bring up the scale and scale it down 60%. Create a new solid and rename it BG for background. And drag and drop this overlay just on top of the BG layer and change the blending mode to overlay. Select image 1, hit P to bring up the position. Go few frames ahead, set a keyframe for the position. Come back to the first frame and slide the image over to the left. Select all the keyframes, F9 for easy ease. Go to the graph editor and tweak the graph to something like what I'm doing here. And go to the overlay folder and drag and drop this circle paint on top of the background. Drag and drop the line paint one on top of image one and aligning and repositioning it wherever you want. And you can also scale the line to 50%. Alright, once you've created that slide one, you can organize your project panel by creating a new folder. Rename that folder to slide one and drag in all the pre-coms inside that slide one. All right, now that you have organized things, it's going to be much easier for you to create the next slide because we are going to duplicate this slide one folder by hitting control D on the keyboard and go inside the folder and rename this slide one to slide two and image one to image two. Double click on the slide two to open the composition. Select the image one comp and drag and drop the image two comp from the project panel by holding down Alt on the keyboard and dragging and dropping it on top of the composition. That will replace the existing image one into image two. All right, select image two, U on the keyboard to bring up the keyframes. You delete all the keyframes and we're gonna create a different animation for this. So we're gonna set a keyframe of the position somewhere here, set a keyframe, go back to the first frame and move it down like this and you have this. Select all the keyframes and adjust the timing however you want and tweak the graph to something like this. Double click on image 2 to go inside the image 2 and you're gonna change the image to another image or a video. Drag and drop a new image or video inside this image 2 composition. Select this line paint and hit R on the keyboard and set the rotation to 90 degrees so that it moves vertically. Control D to duplicate the layer and you can select this line paint 2 from the project panel. Hold down Alt on the keyboard and drag and drop it on top of the composition that replaces the existing video file. Select the text tool and type in your text. Go to the effects and presets and let me apply the text animation preset that you have just downloaded earlier from the store. I'm gonna select this slide from below, drag and drop it on the text layer. You can always select these two keyframes and retime the animation. Going back to slide one, let's go ahead and create a text for slide one. Select the vertical text tool and type in your text. And I'm gonna use the same animation preset 
slide from below and drag and drop it on the text layer. Control D to duplicate the text and move it to the left. All right, I'm gonna select this image one, Control D to duplicate the file. Go to time and freeze frame and go to the effects and presets and type in fill drag and drop that fill and you can change this color to white and offset the layer so that you have a white trail living behind like this all right going back to slide two i did the same for this by duplicating the image comp and freeze that frame drag and drop the fill layer change the color to white and and offset the timing of the animation so that you have a white trails leaving behind and select the background layer Control shift y on the keyboard to bring up this panel change the color to red or whatever color you like i also added the shape paint one overlay on top of this and change the blending mode to overlay to even spice that up all right moving on to the next slide go to the project panel select this slide 2 and Control D to duplicate it, go inside the folder and rename it to slide 3 like we did before. Double click to open the slide 3, select this image 3, hit U on the keyboard to bring up the keyframes, delete the last keyframe, bring forward the first keyframe here and go to the first frame and drag the image over to the left. All right, now that you have that, I'll show you how you can make a vertical format video or photo. You can drag and drop your video or photo, vertical video or photo inside the composition. Hit Ctrl K on the keyboard to bring up the composition settings. Change this resolution from 1080 by 1920. Hit OK and scale your media to fit the composition size. All right, once you have all the slides ready, go ahead and create a new composition and rename this to final. Hit OK and you're going to assemble all the slides inside this one single composition. Alright, the whole idea of this video is to slap in some random overlays and simple text animation and a combination of colors. It's that simple. Make sure to watch this video to learn more about product promo and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.